These are instructions on how to do a rendered animation using Autodesk Inventor. So first you have your item here, we're gonna do the boat that we made. And so first thing you have to do is kind of get it the way you wanna look at it. Uh, I'm gonna go with about like that. You wanna make sure that you can see all the things you wanna see. And you can change that later if you need to. Uh, then we click on view up here. Click on the view tab and visual style. You'll see all these lines that are here. If I click on realistic, they all go away and you can see that it looks a whole lot better. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, you can see that. And so now uh, up here, you also have shadows. Uh, if I click on that, just so you can see what they all look like. These do slow down the animation process, but I'm gonna put them in so you can kind of see what they look like. So that is basically as realistic as it's gonna get. So once you get that the way you want it to be, you click on environments and then you click on Inventor Studio. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of these because I want you to, I wanna go from the very beginning. So let me just get rid of that. Okay, so this is the way it's gonna look when you get here. And so I've got it kind of the way I want it. Under animations, I right click on animations and click new animation and this shows up. I double click on this and the check mark moves there and my timeline shows up at the bottom. I click on this button right here, animation options, and it defaults to 30. I'm gonna change it to five seconds because I just wanna do a short one. All right and then I right click on cameras over here and create camera from view. The view is the way that you have it set up. That's why it's important you have it the way you want it. When I click on that, camera one shows up. On this drop down here, I click on that, change to camera one. So now I'm seeing what camera one could see. And when I start moving this, oh, not yet, I don't have it on my turntable. So I click on my camera and camera one, click on turntable. I check the turntable box and you see this little thing here showing what way it's gonna turn. Well, I don't wanna turn in that way. If I go to the Y origin, now I can see it's turning the way I want it to turn. So you gotta kinda of play around with this. This thing here does something like that. We don't want that, so I'm going back to the Y. Um, I'm gonna click the plus minus. That means I will go exactly one revolution during my time, five seconds. And that's all I need to do there, so I click OK. And now, when I move my slider here, this is the way it's gonna record it. So you can look at this. If you don't like the way that it looks, you can go back. You will have to delete your camera and start over again. If you try to, make a, if you try to edit it or make a new camera, it will try to do it after that timeline and it'll mess up. So the easiest thing to do, if you don't like the way it is, delete that camera. Put in another new camera, start over again, and click this, you know, do everything but start over again. But don't, don't tr leave this here, try a new one. Okay, ready to record. I click render animation, and this comes up. Now, these are the things you can change. I'm gonna change to a 640 by 480. When you change these things, it changes how long it takes to render. Now you'll notice that it put a box showing me what that's gonna look like. If I change to some other ones, um, it can give you a bigger box or something. If I don't like the size of that box, let me go back to this one. I can close that, right click on camera, edit, and this shows you what I would be seeing right there. If I don't like that, if it's too small, I can do this, I can change the size of it so that when I move my slider, it would do it. So then I can see whether that would fit inside of it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, go back to render animation, 640, got my box. I go to output. Okay, this is where I gotta tell it where I wanna save it. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. I wanna make sure this says AVI. And I'm gonna call it boat test 33, just for something different. Click save. Um, this I need to make it five seconds because that's all I wanna record it to. This is the frame rate. That's how many frames per second it is gonna create. 10's a reasonable number. If I go to a higher number, if I go to 15, then it's gonna do 15 for every second of movie. I'm gonna leave it at 10. I go to renderer, and I'm gonna render by iteration. So it's, this is how many 
times it, it kind of runs it on my, depends, again, I'm gonna make this 20, and you'll see what the output looks like when I get done. I want this to be high, 20, and 10 frames per second. So now I click render. Make sure this is on Microsoft Video One. I'm gonna leave this at 75. This is also something I can change. If I made this 100, again, it would take longer to run. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna leave that there. I click OK. And make sure camera one is highlighted because that's what's gonna do when it turns. Let me go, uh, I'll just watch a couple of frames here, then I'm gonna pause it while it finishes and I'll come back and finish. But you can see, you can see that when it went to the next one, you see 10 frames per second, five seconds, 50 frames. It's gotta do. And it's gotta go to 20 iterations each time. So that's what's happening here. I'm now going to pause it and then I'll come back when it gets done and we'll finish up. Okay, so here we're on our last one, 50 out of 51. Got just two more left here. You can see the iterations coming up. We're at a little over nine minutes. So this thing, and this is a pretty low, not real high quality, and it's still taking 10 minutes. So you can get really nice ones, but it will take uh, a long time. And these are computers with really fast processors. Again, things you can change, uh, we just finished. 51 out of 51, so I can close that. Things we can change are the number of iterations, we can change the frame rate, or we can change, we could change this uh, compression rate. So you could do all those things. So let's see what it looked like. Um, boat test, there it is. So, Again, this is just going round and round. So you can see now the lighting wasn't real good. You can change the lighting. I'll show you where that is in just a second. But you can see how it looks pretty real. See through the glass, get the, by changing the materials and things, it looks pretty good. Dark, kind of dark. And that can be done if I go to render animation under this one. If I go, if I change the light, see that just got lighter. Um, so there's things you can do to make it. So you can play around with this. You can do several till you get it the way you like it. So that is the way that you do a rendered animation in Autodesk Inventor.